A large team of around 100 personnel of the Indian Air Force will arrive in Russia by the end of this month, for training in operations and maintenance of the S-400 air defense systems, followed by a second Indian Air Force team in mid-2021. The training operations will start in February, and Russian officials have confirmed to start the delivery of S-400 systems in September, and India's first S-400 squadron will become fully operational by the end of 2021. Officials have said that the delivery of five mobile squadrons of the S-400 air defense systems will be completed by April 2023 and will be positioned in the western northern and eastern sectors, and will significantly revolutionize India's air defense capabilities. The stealth characteristics and EW capabilities of enemy stealth fighters can be recorded and also analyzed by the powerful acquisition and engagement radars of the S-400 systems, which will make the Chinese J-20 more vulnerable to interception by the long-range missiles of the S-400. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has confirmed that the company has used its internal funds for completing the structural design of the Tejas Mark 1A, and the electrical wiring and cooling system have also been completed. The Mark 1A variant will see a strengthened structural design for better operations and maintainability, and two Tejas Mark 1 fighters are currently being used to test many of these structural design changes. The company has also gone ahead with in-house development of various systems and software. Open Architecture Digital Flight Control Computer developed for the medium-weight fighter has been successfully installed in the confined chassis of the Tejas Mark I, that comes as a major boost for the aircraft's computing power, and steps towards having commonality with the medium-weight fighter. Hindustan Aeronautics is also in the process of integrating the Astra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missile on the Tejas Mark 1, so that it can be clear to be operational on both Mark 1 and Mark 1A variant. We had already reported that the DRDO had started prototype work on the vertically launched short-range surface air-to-missile in October 2020 and new documents indicate that the ship launch configuration will feature a 16-cell vertical launching system, which means that most currently operated Indian Navy frigates and destroyers will be able to deploy one vertical launching system on their forward decks. The 40 km range VLSR sum will be based on the Astra Mark 1 missile with thrust vectoring capability, and will fill the gap in air defense capability between the 5 km range AK-630 and 100 km range Indo-Israeli Barak-8 long-range surface-to-air missiles, while the Indian Air Force will get a high-mobility truck-mounted canister-based variant. The DRDO has initiated research work for developing a lightweight micro-tactical drone that weighs only 250 grams, that can be launched from a 40 mm grenade launcher, and the tactical drone will have an endurance of approximately 40 minutes. The drone will be able to operate on both day and night conditions, and will have auto-tracking features, intelligence surveillance target acquisition and reconnaissance capabilities, and it will be developed into an armed variant in later stages. The 91st K-9 Vajrasilf propelled howitzer manufactured at Armoured Systems Complex of Larsen and Tubro was flagged off yesterday, and the private sector company is expected to make the complete delivery of 100 K-9 systems next month, and there are reports that it might get an additional order for 50 more units, after which the idle production line will be available for manufacturing 104 K-30 anti-aircraft systems with transfer of technology under the Make in India initiative. The DRDO and Larsen and Tubro had also teamed up in June 2020 for developing a 35-ton light battle tank based on the K-9 Vajra, equipped with 105mm gun made by the Belgian firm John Cockerell Defence, and the 200 crore rupees project aims to field the first three tank prototypes by November 2021, and it can also be manufactured at the facility of Larsen and Tubro. 
the DRDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has handed over 18 types of indigenously developed and manufactured filters for Scorpion-class submarines built under Project 75 for the Indian Navy. The advanced separation filters are used to remove harmful contaminants to maintain the purity of critical fluids like hydraulic oil, lubrication, seawater, fuel and breathing air, and it helps to maximize the operability and hospitality of submarines.